In this video, we're going to focus on how we can use the font awesome icons and put them in chart.js. As you can see here, we have them here, we have them here, here, and here, but also the tooltip has it nicely and we have them here as well. You can see even in the weekly sales, it grabs this, including that. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's look how we can use font awesome in chart.js. So the first thing what I want to do here in is to get the default code. So make sure you go to chartjs3.com, getting started, this specific link here, and scroll down here and just copy this entire code here. And by the way, this link is also in the description box so you can easily uh, grab it. So once you copy this, and if you want to understand what that code below does, watch this video that explains all the JavaScript of that code. I'm going to paste it all in here. And then I just cut out this title here, put the title in here and then save it and then refresh. There we are. So now we have a very basic bar chart here. And what I want to do here is I want to change, for example, here, these uh, labels here with the matching font awesome item. So to do this, first of all, I need to go to get the font awesome library and I will get here the version of 4.7. And I know there's many different ones, whichever you want to select, you can do whatever you want. I like 4.7 because this is only the unique items while the other versions, they have more like duplicates of thick, thin, uh, duo colors, etc., etc. They don't interest me. Anyway, let's copy this and put that in there. So once we save this, we're basically done here. We have this. And then what is very important is now to eventually go on here. I want to grab this specific item because what we need to do is we need to get two things. We need to get a specific code, or well, let me just open one of these codes first. So once you go to font awesome, and you can get your font awesome uh, 4.7, that's the one we're using. And then what I want to do is I want to just grab an icon here. Let's grab an icon here quickly. And let's say we want to have this address book icon. Beautiful. So to do this, what we need is we need this specific Unicode. This is very important. So if you copy this Unicode, and then what I'm going to do in here, for example, for Monday, I want to change this. So I'm going to do here, see in quotation, and I'm going to have here a backslash. This is very important, backslash. You're going to paste this in here, and then this is always four characters. This is very important. Four characters that should be here, and then before the four characters, we're going to put in U for the Unicode. So backslash, and not a slash. Slash is basically like this. So that's a backslash, it's different and then U for Unicode, and then the Unicode item. So once we do this, and we save this, we go here, and you will see here, now we get this square, meaning, I'm sorry, I cannot identify the item here. That's basically what is being communicated right now. So what is the issue here? Well, very simple. We have this, but this Unicode is not being recognized. Why? The Unicode is from the font awesome font family. So that would mean that we need to assign a font family that is recognized. So to do this, what I'm going to do here is just going here up above this above the constant chart, and then we're going to say here chart, but it's capital C, because we're going to pinpoint the chart object. And then we're going to say here, we're going to add up a default font family. So we say default dot font dot family. And then what we can do here now is the following. Well, by default, there's like uh, Helvetica Neue, and we have more. Is another one is Helvetica, Helvetica. Sorry, make sure you spell this correctly. All right, and then what we have here more is well, let's see. We have Ariel as well, and finally we have here the Sun Sarah. So very important here, this one here, and of course this needs to be in double quotation on both sides. This is very important. So what are we doing here? You can see here, and this is really important, that's why I'm pointing it out. We have this one here in single quotations, but there's a double quotation already. So you assume this is already a string. So why do we put this double? Well, this is a necessary essential. But on sans serif, we don't do this. Why? In basically sans serif is what we call a CSS font family. And what that means is it's being recognized by CSS by default, and we don't put in then this also in CSS, we don't put it in quotations. While all the others, which are created by some others or they are like later on added up, <clears throat> sorry, added up, 
in that case we need to put in here these quotations so this means we need to put in as well if we're going to add up our font awesome we need to figure out what is the official font awesome font family name so let's copy this link here copy the css here and then i'm going just in here just paste that in there enter and you can see here the font family is font awesome including quotations single quotation copy this and then you're going to put it in here or you can put it at the end here it doesn't matter i just put it in front here save this including this single quotation while being still within the double quotation save that go back here and then all right uh, let me double check what's going on here can i read the property of font default font and of course it cannot read because we need to put an s here it's default sorry there we are so now we have this font awesome item in there so let's do another one here just for the sake of practice so i'm going to grab another one here and then what i want to do is uh well let's grab here the bus i guess that's a fun nice icon all right so icon unicode f207 so i want to put it in here so we say here backslash unicode four characters which is f207 save this go back here refresh and there we are so if i refresh here this works and if i hover over look at it the tooltip recognizes this font family as well and and the reason why is because we have it on default we have to put it all over the chart so it will understand it so if i would do here another one or if i grab this and i just say i want to put in here this weekly sales we have here now also a font family and this works nicely on everything and that's basically how you can put in font awesome characters in chart.js so if you like this video and maybe you also want to understand how to do utf 8 or utf 16 fonts in that case i would highly recommend you to watch this specific video here on how to use utf8 and utf16 special characters in chart.js